Have you ever wondered how Sparta, a city-state in ancient Greece, became one of the most feared military powers in the world? Nestled in a valley in the southeastern Peloponnese, Sparta was far from a typical Greek city-state. Its geographical location, protected by mountains and blessed with fertile plains, played a significant role in shaping its destiny. From its early history, Sparta was different. Spartan culture was defined by a unique lifestyle, one that emphasized rigorous military training and austere living conditions. Spartan boys were inducted into a harsh regimen of combat training from a tender age of seven. There was no room for the faint-hearted, only the strong survived, and the strongest became warriors, the backbone of the formidable Spartan army. But Sparta's rise to prominence wasn't just a matter of being the toughest kid on the block. It was a result of numerous military campaigns and strategic alliances. Sparta's rise to prominence wasn't an overnight phenomenon but a result of numerous military campaigns and strategic alliances. The first significant military campaign that put Sparta on the map was the First Persian War. This war was a monumental clash between the burgeoning city-states of Greece and the colossal Persian Empire. The stage was set for conflict when the Persian king Darius sought to subjugate Greece, sparking outrage and resistance among the Greeks. One man who stood in defiance of this vast Persian force was the Spartan king Leonidas. Recognizing the immense threat, Leonidas assembled a small force of just 300 Spartans to face the Persian army at a strategic point known as Thermopylae. This battle is renowned for the Spartans' audacious bravery and exceptional tactical prowess. Facing an army that dwarfed them in size, the Spartans leveraged the narrow pass of Thermopylae to their advantage. They held their ground fiercely, repelling wave after wave of Persian assaults. Their unyielding spirit and tactical superiority shone brightly against the backdrop of Persian might. Despite being heavily outnumbered, the Spartans held their ground, earning them a reputation as formidable warriors. Sparta's reputation as a military powerhouse continued to grow during the Second Persian War and the formation of the Peloponnesian League. The Second Persian War, which took place in the 5th century BC, was a pivotal moment for Sparta, showcasing its military prowess on a grand scale. Under the leadership of King Leonidas, Sparta played a significant role in the Greek city-state's united front against the Persian invasion. Despite facing a force that vastly outnumbered them, the Spartans alongside their Greek allies, displayed remarkable resilience and bravery. The Battle of Thermopylae, a key engagement of the war, saw a small Spartan-led force hold off the massive Persian army, buying precious time for the rest of Greece to prepare their defenses. Though ultimately a tactical defeat, the stand at Thermopylae became a symbol of Spartan valor and determination, further cementing their reputation as formidable warriors. But Sparta's influence was not limited to the battlefield. In the aftermath of the Persian Wars, Sparta spearheaded the formation of the Peloponnesian League, a strategic alliance of Greek city-states. This league with Sparta at its helm, was a comprehensive system of mutual defense against potential invaders, particularly the Persians. It was also an effective tool for Sparta to extend its influence across the Greek world. The military strategies employed by Sparta, such as the use of a highly disciplined and trained standing army, and the construction of fortifications, were instrumental in maintaining the security and stability of the League. The Peloponnesian League not only strengthened Sparta's military might but also allowed it to exert political control over its member states. This combination of military power and political influence marked a high point in Spartan dominance in ancient Greece. With the successful repulsion of the Persian invasion and the formation of the Peloponnesian League, Sparta established itself as a dominant military power in Greece. The Spartan legacy, forged in the crucible of war and diplomacy, would continue to shape the course of Greek history for centuries to come. The Peloponnesian War was a turning point in Sparta's rise to power. This conflict which raged on for nearly three decades, from 431 to 404 BC, marked a pivotal moment in the history of ancient Greece. The conflict was primarily between Sparta, leading the Peloponnesian League, and Athens, leading the Delian League. But why did this war break out? The answer lies in the power dynamics of the time. Athens, with its powerful navy and flourishing economy, was the dominant sea power, while Sparta, with its disciplined army, was the leading land power. The rivalry between these two superpowers was inevitable. The war however was not a straightforward fight, it was a series of battles, sieges and diplomatic maneuvers, and it had its share of ups and downs. The initial phase of the war, often referred to as the Archidamian War, 
saw Sparta launching annual invasions of Attica, the region surrounding Athens, while the Athenians took to the sea, raiding the coasts of the Peloponnese. It was during the second phase of the war, the Sicilian expedition, that the tide began to turn in Sparta's favor. Athens' ill-fated attempt to conquer Syracuse in Sicily ended in disaster with a massive loss of men and ships. This was a significant blow to Athenian power and marked the beginning of Sparta's ascendancy. The final phase of the war, the Decelean War or the Ionian War, saw Sparta receiving financial aid from Persia, enabling it to build a navy to challenge Athens at sea. The decisive Battle of Aegospotami in 405 BC led to the destruction of the Athenian fleet, effectively ending the war. With the defeat of Athens, Sparta emerged as the undisputed leader of Greece. The Athenian walls were pulled down, and the Delian League was dissolved. The Spartan hegemony had begun. Sparta's military prowess and strategic acumen had won the day. However, this hegemony was not to last. Despite its military prowess and strategic alliances, Sparta was unable to maintain its grip on power. Like many empires before and after it, Sparta was not immune to the winds of change. Its decline was gradual, the result of a series of factors that slowly chipped away at its once formidable strength. Internally, Sparta was plagued by strife. The rigid social hierarchy once the backbone of its military might, began to crumble under the weight of inequality and resentment. The loss of helots, the state-owned serfs that formed the backbone of Sparta's economy, further weakened its standing. Externally, defeat in later wars such as the Theban-led Boeotian War, eroded Sparta's reputation as an invincible military power. These blows, both internal and external, led to Sparta's eventual downfall. Sparta's rise and fall is a reminder that even the mightiest powers can falter. However, the legacy of the Spartan warriors continues to inspire and intrigue us to this day.